welcome to my channel today i just want to talk about um jodeci and the whole kanye west situation so starting up with jodeci first let's get the easy part out the way so jodeci announced well not jodeci but um the guy from jodeci mr davin he announced on um this radio station out in the bay area that um a biopic of the group jodeci will be released later on this year on vh1 my opinion is let's wait to 2018 to release the video i mean not the video but the biopic because i want you guys to take your time and do it do it right just like um the new edition story they did it right and it was everything everyone went crazy you know they broke records they haven't been broken before like we love that new edition i wish i had a chance to recap it on here but hopefully i'll be able to recap jodeci so for those who don't know jodeci um it's four guys Devante, mr davin casey and jojo so i want them to name this biopic i'm pretty sure they will but i want them to name it diary of a mad band just stick with that name and i want to know about the whole t-ball situation like what actually happened because when they did their biopic on vh1 they just showed him like he's not coming up to the hospital him and you no know, t-balls and mr davin both were dating and she was sick and he didn't come to the um he didn't go to the hospital to visit her, and next thing you know that she was with somebody else. So they really didn't go into detail about that relationship, but do it in three parts so we can know everything because I'm nosy. And I want to know um, Casey's um, relationship with Mary J. Blash. I want to see the drills. I want to see it all. Um, I hope y'all have somebody good playing Mary J. Blash. Like, you can't miss a Mary J. Blash. You can't. And have somebody. Y'all can use the same girl. From the TLC movie to play T Boss. And I don't know, um, Mr. David, I think you should get what's that guy named B Smith. Um, I put a picture up because I know a lot of people probably don't remember him, but he was he used to be on 106 and Park all the time. Um, but they should get him to play um to play Mr. David. Casey, ooh, it's going to be a hard one. I just say just get someone who can really sing and hopefully, you know, I might only trick that, you know, that's really Casey up there. It's really JoJo up there. But I can't wait to see it. I'm just so excited. I called. I said, after watching the new edition movie, I want to see Joe to see. And after Joe to see, um, Drew Hill, you up next. I want to, I want to see a biopic. I want to see, um, who else I want to see, um, Jagged Edge, I want to see you guys, um, who else, boy bands, I want to see boy bands, I really don't want to see the female bands right now, yeah, I can wait, but the only one that I want to see, but I know I'm not going to see is, um, Destiny Child, because I don't think, we probably not going to like Beyonce after watching that, if the truth comes out, so, it's probably why we're not seeing anytime soon, so, yeah. Who else? I want to see Pretty Ricky. <laughs> Pretty Ricky B2K, all that. Yeah, I want to see I want to see some more boy bands. I don't really care about B5. They wasn't that good to me. It felt like they all they always did like remake um yeah, remakes of old songs. I know Tory Lanez does it, but he's like putting his own swagger to it. And that's what they didn't do with B5, so I won't have to see them. Who else? And y'all have to play Diddy. Get someone to play Puffy, whoever his name was back then. And I want to see him take all y'all money. I want to see y'all doing drugs. I want to see everything. I want to see y'all wilding out. Like, don't hold back. Just do like new dishes. Just put your truth out there. Because once you put it out there, can't nobody spray you. They can't read you with your own truth. Yeah, so that's it on that. Can't wait to see it. But don't release 2018. Mm -mm. Y'all can release it in January. Like New Edition do it. I think it's a good idea that y'all picking back and off that because we want to see it because reality shows wasn't on back then and um, social media wasn't around like it is now. So, oh yeah, so people were coming up. I wouldn't advise y'all to do reality shows for real because y'all movies are not going to be that good when y'all do y'all biopics. So, yeah, just stay 
Stay discreet. Mr. Kanye West Kardashian. I know y'all probably think that I hate Kanye West, but I don't. I just, you know, I used to be a fan. I kind of feel like J. Cole, but I wasn't probably as a fan, a big fan like J. Cole. I just really appreciated a Kanye West in his rap industry. And Kanye West, he deleted the tweets that were supporting President Donald Trump. And I believe he deleted them because he didn't get that phone call. He was waiting to get that phone call to perform at the inauguration. And they was like, uh-uh, he ain't, he ain't traditional enough. He not going to get up there. Mm -mm. He not going to get up there and embarrass us because we called him to perform. They called Chrisette Michelle to perform. But they didn't call you to perform. And they called um, 2 chains to perform. I'm like, oh, my God. And they all are, they're not as big as a Kanye West and probably will never be as a big, big as Kanye West. So, that was crazy. Um, back in, I think it was October or November, he went on a rant just out and out Jay-Z and Beyonce because Beyonce said she wasn't going to perform at the BMAs if she didn't win video of the year. And Jay-Z never calls him. You still ain't call me, man. You still ain't call me. And, um, what else happened? And, yeah, he said that, um, North and Saint haven't played with Blue Ivy. And he was like, Our kids haven't met or anything. But I don't think Beyonce too much care because Beyonce worked really really hard to get where she's at now and Kim Kardashian just had to put out a sex tape so of course she's going to feel some type of way like she's up there where I'm at but she haven't put in even half of the work so yeah but Kanye West well, you should have known like what would happen if you got with a Kim Kardashian in my opinion I think you should have got with Solange I'm just saying, she likes art. She's kind of, I don't want to call her weird. Because that album, A Seat at the Table, was the best album. I think it was better than Lemonade. Sorry, but but I enjoyed Lemonade as well. I think that was her best album. And that's probably an album that I can listen straight through. It's a, it's well, let's Seat at the Table. Simply because it just, you know, talk about real stuff. And that's what I like. And, yeah, let's, okay, Kanye, so. I know this next album is going to be lit. This is going to be your, what, second or third breakthrough album? Yeah, all this heartbreak, I mean, you might can prove um, J. Cole wrong at this point. You might not, um, but I just think that you need to write about it. You need to put this in your music. You need to put how Beyonce hurt you, Jay-Z hurt you, Donald Trump hurt you, Kim Kardashian, how it's um, rumors that she wanted to leave you once you got, um, once you checked in into a mental institute, mental institution, and Jim Jones calls you out, so you don't need to take his name. I'm like, he just can't take a break, but um, <clears throat> Kanye was. And he just haven't been right since his mom passed away. And that's the honest truth. Maybe he was always like this. And he just, you know, kind of came out once his mom passed away. But, I don't know. Mm -mm. And I had a lot of dislikes from my last video about Kanye West. That I was um, talking about Jasmine Mann's uh, poem, Foots for Kanye. A lot of people disliked that video. I'm like, dang. I don't think I got any likes on that video. <laughs> oh, well. Carrie. Um, she decides that she wants to put out a single because she just, I don't know what she was doing on that New Year's, um, New Year's Eve little concert, but it was funny to me. I was laughing. Just walk me down, y'all. Just walk me down. Oh, well, this went number one. Mm, yeah. Um, y'all can just sing it. Y'all can just sing it. I would have been so pissed if I was there, but watching it on YouTube, it was hilarious to me. I'm like, Mariah, girl, what you doing? But... <laughs> 
just don't think Mariah Carey has the same fan base that she did back in the 90s when she came out. Because my mom, she had an album, I think. It was the app. I think it was Vision of Love where she had the curly hair. And I didn't even know that was Mariah Carey. I was like, who is this? And I seen Mariah Carey. I was like, oh, Lord. But, yeah, Mariah Carey haven't had a great hit out since the um, Emancipation of Mimi. I think that's the name of the album. Yeah, I love that album, and I was in the fifth grade when the album came out. But that was my that was my album. I love "We Belong Together," "Shake It Off," "Don't Forget About Us." It was some great, great songs on there. I think she needs to get back with Jermaine Dupri. I think Jermaine Dupri is a great producer. A lot of people don't give him his credit, but he's a good producer. But yeah, um, the song she has a new song out is um i don't featuring yg and the song samples um Danielle jones where i want to be i love that song and it, the song is sound well let's talk about donet Danielle jones um i really love that song it's my favorite song the video is so long but i love the song i love Sha -da 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 -da. that is the most perfect song Oh, yes, when you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Like, yes, I don't hear music like that today. I do a little bit, but it's like one artist a year who would just put out a good R&B song with a male R&B song. Male R&B artist would put out a good R&B song once a year. And I don't see the point of YG being on the song. I know you love me. You just don't trust me. I know you love me. You just don't trust me. But you love when I call you scary. Mm -mm. They should have replaced him with... I think Fabulous would have done good. Fabulous is so underrated. He's a great, great rapper. And I love him on Tiana Taylor, Broken Hearted Girl. Look at a light psych. <laughs> Look at a light psych. I really love that song. I will link it below if you guys haven't heard it. And I also link Mariah Carey's. <laughs> I said Carey's. Mariah Carey, I don't. And I like the song. I can I can see it, you know, being on the radio and all that. I don't think it's on a chart. Like, I don't think it's going to be in the top ten or anything. Because we listen to what now? Bad and Bougie? Stuff like that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know about that one, but you know it's a great song. I give it like a, I give it a three point five out of five stars. Yeah. And anyway, who else? Missy Elliott. She also received mixed reviews from her new song "I'm Better" featuring Lamb. I think that's the name. Um. Yeah. The hook is simple. Um. Is a little mediocre, a little subpar, and but she 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 did her part, but I don't know about his part. But I do like the song as well. The video is amazing. I like they were just bouncing on those balls and stuff, and dancing underwater. Oh my god, I love me some Missy Elliott. She used to be my favorite rapper for a long, long, long time. And, um, I, I like, she, she was just talking about, um, she, he, he have something in the bando, I don't know, and she got guys in Orlando, and she was just singing a little bit, I was like, yes, <laughs> Missy Elliott, that's my girl, I love Missy, Missy Elliott, how can you not like Missy Elliott, Missy Elliott got along with everyone, she even got along with Lil' Kim. Like, you know, Lil' Kim fall out with everyone. But, yeah, I like the song. I'm better. I'll link it below if you haven't heard it. And thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys subscribe if it's your first time watching. And I might put another video up Saturday or something happens between now and Saturday. I have a video up Saturday. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.